Engineer 775 working on a farm today and no that's not an eclipse that's just what my camera does to the sun and uh, working on a, a water system imagine that for some uh, for this uh, this farm this retreat this bug out location you you name it I'm putting in a bunch of different things um, what we ended up doing on this site to make things a little easier was we actually drilled another well I drilled a four inch well I'll show you and then we developed a uh, a plan to um, pump water with two of these panels and then boost it with the third <clears throat> and uh, so just showing you that and got a we've got a series of check valves and and we got a nice pump house here insulated pump house so we went ahead and put a four inch well over in the corner of this building <clears throat> what we're doing is uh, using a submersible pump that will fill that tank and we're also putting in a hand pump simple pump yes it will fit in a little four inch casing and then the wires for the uh, submersible pump go here and so you have a nice it is extremely tight but everything does fit so you can put a hand pump some solar submersible pump that'll pump you know a couple of thousand gallons a day in this location and then we haven't finished it yet but we're putting a flow light booster pump here uh, with uh, inlets and outlets and shutoffs and then we'll have a battery bank I'm using this battery and we put a, a hatch a little escape hatch in a roof so we can uh, pull pumps and also uh, mainly for the simple pump because they're nine foot sticks that need to go down in there so we'll have a pretty neat little system here that will sustain this location they can gravity feed out of the tank to the entire farm but if they want pressure um, that they're used to with their well pump, if the power goes out, we're going to use the, the old Dankoff Solar. I've grown very fond of these. They work extremely well. And so the, the goal is we've tied in to uh, their existing plumbing. We found it with a trencher. Nothing like a trencher to find a water line because <laughs> I didn't know where it was. So we had a flood. So this location is a nice little working farm with goats and horses and chickens and rabbits and and they do a great job but you know the key to this working right and working long term sustainably is water and right now they rely on the grid and in about two hours I hope to be filling that 1050 gallon tank and then gravity feeding to the entire place so they do a lot of gardening they do a lot of livestock again the dairy goats uh, so it requires a lot of water and this location look at this horizon. It is end of January It's like I don't know what time it is 830 and we we'd be pumping pumping water Yeah, it's 830 in the morning and uh, we'll just have a have no lack um, year-round of water in this location. So anyway, this is just my mess uh, working on a project and uh, learned a lot doing these just hands-on helping people uh, get get off the grid and a little bit of electrical a little bit of plumbing and again no no comments uh, criticizing how bad it looks it's not done <laughs> so anyway um, it works these systems work great and so it's time to get back to work enough enough talking let's get to work engineer 775 signing off <laughs>